tough morning. We've been going super fast in the last um, yeah, 18 hours, I'd say. Managing to gain on whole sim through the night in these bigger conditions. Now, just before the jive, we seem to have lost out a good bit of those gains, which is just annoying sometimes because we're fighting for every single mile. We've got to make sure that we, uh, we, uh, we gain every mile we can at the moment. And you know, it's not about pushing the boat to the limit. It's about just working it hard with the setup we got and with the conditions we got, you know. Being active on the autopilot, being active on the trimming, and when it's like that, then we can be smart about it and, uh, and gain smiles. So, we're going to keep her, keep her working on, on this, and, uh, and yeah, hopefully in the next few hours we can uh, we can gain some miles back. It's uh, nice and sunny, the boat's in one piece, and we're in first place, so there's lots of positives to look at for the day. And also, we've made our final jive, or close to our final jive, towards Cape Horn. Rosie's yeah. in the sunshine there. On the sun terrace. The sun terrace. <laughs> how much, how much sun cream have you got on there, Rosie? Zero, man. Back to, back to hundred now. Yeah. Uh, it's so good to be up here. Yeah. And you feel a little bit of the breeze. Like yeah. from the entrance, the breeze is basically going into the cockpit and going out like this. So here's like nice and fresh air, some sunshine. Yeah, it's yeah. like oh, glamorous. It's very nice. Yeah. And also, we've managed to persuade. Antoine the OBR, but going on deck is kind of nice. Yeah. And he seems to be loving life out there. It's amazing. I feel like he became a bit of a bunk hermit for a while, so it's nice that he's uh, he's breathing some fresh air in the rough conditions. Normally he only likes to go in there when it's uh, sunbathing weather, so he's now out there with five meter waves. Maybe you can show him. What? Antoine in his element. Yeah. So you see Antoine over there. This is glamorous sailing. The waves are a bit bigger now. It's hard to really serve them, but we're very, very downwind, like 150 angle, and uh, oh, you can see how big they are. Woo! This is Southern Ocean sailing. This is so cool. And you see how blue the water is. Wow, there is another bad close far away. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Show me how you ride the wave! Yeah! Wow! Amazing! Look at that! He doesn't even move his wing! He's turning around the boat! to see where we are and compare it with the others and uh, this is a very cool view actually we have the fractional sail it's a, a flying sail as you can see and it's on a fractional halyard so that halyard is uh, four meters under the top of the mast and uh, we have a J3 stay sail and uh, we have ten, two rooms. 10 meters under the mast? 10 meters under the mast? Yeah. Oh really? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> 10 meters under the mast, that's quite a bit. And uh, yeah, pretty nice. I'm so impressed by the boat. We've hit so many waves and these windows are strong. Oh, yeah, this is a beautiful view. Albatross, whee! Beautiful albatross. I want to be an albatross in my next life. miles off the uh, South American coast and um, we have 659 miles until we get to Cape Horn so that's not long that's like one fast net rate we always measure stuff in fast net rate um, that's each year about two days and we are just if you look on this you can see we've got a big front approaching us we've got a expecting the wind to increase from 30 knots, which is what we have now, so about 35. Um, 
probably in the maximum peace state at the moment as well. Some uh, beautiful sailing shots there. And Antoine's just going to capture. And we'll sit down and you'll be taking. Yeah, come to next to me. Yeah. It's a really beautiful, it's very dramatic. I love it because it's very dramatic. Look at this. When the waves like that come, they just um, they can totally wipe out the boat. So we're really just trying to keep it in a nice, controlled state at the moment. We have to keep uh, keep the boat in control so we can hold the bigger sails. But also, um, if we go too fast, then we just totally wipe out, and then uh, and then it's really good. I hope we get a nice hold. From here, I like it too. Even from behind, it's super nice. Look like this, you can see well. Yeah. Wow! This is the Southern Ocean. Yeah, yeah. Fresh Southern Ocean. Yeah, fresh 9 ocean. degrees the water temperature yeah. and 5,000 meters deep. Imagine all the things that are living <laughs> under us. Whales, all the fishes. Like, we take some speed. We go. Breaking through the wave. Wow. wow. It's the next one. Maybe I try to do one shot a bit higher. Ah, uh, yeah. See the real. Yeah, a bit of a distance shot is super nice. Yes, look at that. Now we really see the, the swell. Yes, yes, this is nice. Look at the swell, you can really yes. see the. It's the nice green. to take a bit of perspective. In, nice. It's like in the life, in our life. We yeah. have to do this every time. Yeah. We have to zoom out. Zoom out. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah. But that's like the ocean breathing, there you go. Wow. One way. We are alone here. Yeah. Wow. Now we go really downwind. Yeah. With the boat, look at that. There we go, it's up this one. Slower mode, we still get a good view. Uh, yeah, just be certain. Okay, 44%, maybe it's time to come back. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I don't want to lose the drone this time, it's going yeah. to be tricky now with the waves. Nice <laughs> shot, huh? That's a good shot, huh? Maybe just wait for the boat to slow down, Antoine. Ha <laughs> ha 